Welcome back, Akwali, and Happy New Year. Reminder that report cards have been sent home. Everyone remember to purchase your winter formal tickets in front of the Connection Center as winter formal will be held on January 31st. The Kellogg Drive off-ramp of the eastbound San Bernardino Freeway, the I-10, will be closing beginning Wednesday, January 15th for 90 days. The pavement rehabilitation and realignment project is part of the I-10 high occupancy vehicle lane. Now let's take a closer look. A few days ago, Cal Poly announced that the off-ramp for Kellogg Drive will be closed for 90 days from January 15th to April 13th. That means if you take the San Bernardino Freeway to get to I Poly, you won't be able to exit on Kellogg Drive. That does not mean that you're excused from school, however. There are many alternative routes that you can take to get to school. You can either take the South State Route 57 and exit on Temple Avenue. You can exit at Fairplex Drive, make a U-turn, and exit on Kellogg Drive on the other side of the freeway, or you can exit on Grand Avenue and take a left on Temple. For more information, you can go to www.cpp.edu slash compass. Now back to the news desk. Thank you, Ryan. And don't forget that Cal Poly starts on Tuesday, so the traffic will be intense, especially with that off-ramp closure. It's a new year, meaning new ASB representatives. So, Here's Zomar to dive deeper into what's going on in ASB. What's up, I'm Polly. I'm Zomar Zandashe, and I'm your eboard treasurer. And I'm William Salazar, the class president of 2020. And we're bringing you your ASB Minute. So first of all, I want to talk about Winter Formal. Winter Formal is on the 31st, and it's Head in the Clouds themed. We're going to be selling tickets next week. It's going to be $55 with the ASB membership and $60 without the ASB membership. So make sure you get your tickets and go. And if you're interested in selling chocolate boxes, they're located in Miss Schiller's room. With a permission form, you can sell the 60 count world's finest. Highly recommend and to the top sellers, there will be prizes. And also make sure you keep your eyes and ears open for any announcements on the upcoming Spirit Week and Pep Rally. So make sure you're ready for that. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And that's your ASB Mini. Thank you, Zomar, for letting us know what's up. Hey Gabe, have you been to the computer lab yet? No, not yet. Why? I've heard there's new hours. Well, let's check into the computer lab. Hi, I'm Luis and I'm here on behalf of I and I Poly to interview Ms. Fernandez on the new computer lab policies. So this semester, uh, I will be in charge of the lab during lunchtime and after school. And before school, Mr. Daly will be here. Most days, the computer lab will be open in the mornings from 7 a.m. to about 7.55. Um, all days, the computer lab will be open at lunchtime. And uh, this semester, uh, the lab will be closed during fourth block until February 13th. That's because we do have a Mount SAC course in here at that time. Ba after February 13th, uh, the lab will be open during fourth block. And all days, the lab will be open after school until 4.30. On Fridays, the lab will be open until 3 o'clock. The main rule uh, is that we will be having students come in here really to only focus on uh, iPoly work, on school work. And when students come in, they will need to um, give an ID or another form of identification to be placed in little pouches at the back corner of the room. Um, in order for us to identify who is in here. And then at that point, they will be assigned a specific computer um, to be to use. Uh, thank you, Ms. Hernandez, for taking time out of your day, for letting us conduct this interview for I and I Poly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being interested in doing so. Keep up the great work. Sure will. Thanks, Luis. I'm excited to see how that will turn out. And I hope everyone has a great 2020. And welcome back, Mrs. Edwards and Mrs. Bazaldua. You were missed.